And now, Arizona Emergency Products. Arizona Emergency Products is the largest emergency vehicle upfitter in the western United States. They're in town radio. We basically are the ones that uh, build the police cars that, that you see out on the road on a daily basis. Inside the vehicle, we actually upfit the vehicle with a computer system, a radio system, uh, lighting control. We get a white car, we, uh, we meet with the customer, um, and we actually design the car from front to back. Mike had a small automotive garage in Tempe but decided to capitalize on a need in the market. We met with the city, listened to their problems, basically uh, went down and looked at a police car, didn't find it out of the ordinary from an automotive background standpoint, ended up winning the, the big contract to bid, build their cars. But success wasn't that easy. Normal growth pains and especially cash flow affected the company in the early years. Our vendors weren't working with us at that point because they didn't know us. We basically took all my credit cards that I had. I borrowed some uh, capital um, from a customer of ours um, on a handshake. Our vendors started giving us more terms until we finally established our first line of credit. Innovative products are helping the business grow. Examples are push bar lighting. This was an idea that was driven by the officers and we put the pieces together to make it reality. And the development of a standardized wire harness for vehicles. The, the wire harness that we actually developed and, and put in place can go in any vehicle. It's all standard. It has the wires are labeled, what it goes to, what it's supposed to power. Here we use um, military grade fire resistant wiring when we put a vehicle together. That's a factory wire. And then ours, all ours does is blister. When we build a car, we don't want to see it back. We want to make sure that it stays out on the road its entire life. Our next finalist is O'Neill Printing. O'Neill Printing originally specialized in the sale of typewriters and secretarial services. But as their clients' needs evolved, so did the company. Our tradition is rich in heritage for over now 100 years. We are obviously moving forward with the times and always looking for opportunities to change as we move into the future. Embracing the digital revolution, O'Neill Printing provides their clients with a full spectrum of exciting printing solutions. Um, we've always made a commitment to making sure we have the proper tools to be successful. If you came and visit us at O'Neill, you will see a state-of-the-art facility um, with the best equipment that you can possibly purchase. Always willing to expand their products and services to ensure the success of their clients, O'Neill Printing now provides online access so customers can easily manage their accounts. It's true to say that yes, the internet has uh, impacted the printing industry and the amount of print, but it's also opened opportunities. We now um, have client bases that extend all the way to Chicago, Northern California, that we otherwise would not have opportunities with. Uncommon to the industry, O'Neill addresses environmental concerns as well. Most uh, inks have many different types of petroleum bases, uh, a lot of chemistry in them. We have moved to a process series that no longer has those chemical properties. So it has very minimal impact on the environment. Um, one of the key elements of our company is that we are now an employee-owned company. This innovation in accountability and collaboration creates a unique culture where employee owners are truly vested in the success of the company. And I think what gives us staying power is the fact that we are truly dedicated to our clients and their success. And finally, Perfect Power Incorporated. The founders of Perfect Power have pioneered the use of photovoltaic devices. And photovoltaic is just another word for solar. Perfect Power has designed and installed solar systems, which take full advantage of light from the blazing Arizona sun. Lynn jokes that she was green before green was cool. But interestingly, it was when she dropped the environmental slant that the tide began to turn. I thought everybody wanted to know what we did for the environment. People want to know how they can save money. Here we are at my home, and there are 33 panels here. We put it on the back side of the house, the south-facing roof, and this system provides all the electricity we need for our home. 
it supplies 100% of the electricity for that home, and it's a large home. In 2006 alone, the company designed and installed 980,000 DC watts of solar panels, which translates into powering 300 homes continuously for 300 days. But still, Lynn feels the public takes electricity for granted. Do you just see how people, if they don't have their cell phone for an afternoon, they are their Blackberry, they totally go nuts. Um, I can't even imagine what they would do if we really had a serious thing where citywide we had, say, a week with no electricity. That is a very real possibility. Their very high profile and high rise project here in the valley was the Optima Biltmore Towers. The architects wanted something a little different. We designed the panel, got it certified so that it's UL listed, and as a result, it has a very distinct look. Perfect Power has offered assistance to community groups, and those contributions last longer than a typical cash donation. These systems are creating electricity 40, 50, 60 years, and that's a long time. That is really why we do it, knowing that something is going to go on beyond us.